Guys, we welcome on stage Andy Todd. Hello. Hello. My name is Andy Todd. I'm senior tutor at uh, Glasgow University School of Law. Um, that means that tonight we've got some legal jokes. <laughs> and legal jokes are the best jokes, as, as, as you've heard earlier. Um, they're the best jokes because they're 100% accurate. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, I say, I say, I say, why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was a criminal. It had breached the Poultry Act in 1984. Chickens must be kept in a coop. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? The police. The police who? The police would like to come in. Do you have a search warrant? No. Well, you can't because that's the law. <laughs> Englishman, Englishman, and Scotsman knock into the bar. The barman says, are you 18? Because he's the responsible landlord. <laughs> 100% accurate. <laughs> there is one thing though which is better than legal jokes, uh, uh, okay. and that's tax jokes. <laughs> and I'd like to talk about tax tonight. <laughs> so tax is really important. It's kind of obvious, but we've got an election this year, and and, and the election is going to be about two things. So it's going to be about immigration. And it's going to be about tax, you know, how much are we going to raise, how much are we going to spend it. Now, immigration is easy because Nigel Farage has already told us that the solution to immigration is to stick a hat on Romanians. <laughs> That's because he's going to have an immigration cap. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> tax? People are going to talk to you about tax. They're going to say to, say, say to you, we want to have a sensible discussion about the economy. It's impossible to have a sensible discussion about the economy. It's impossible to have a sensible discussion about tax because tax and the law are both completely incomprehensible. <laughs> I'm going to give you an example. This is a genuine crime. It's a crime to be out in public um, in suspicious circumstances with a salmon. <laughs> You the salmon, out in public, acting a bit suspiciously, they'll lock you up. It doesn't actually say though in the act what those suspicious circumstances are. So I've tried to work them out. I think, you know, maybe you and a salmon, outside a bank, wearing a balaclava, carrying shot off shotgun, and you're preparing to rob it, that's acting suspicious. Maybe you and a salmon, uh, checking into a hotel under the name Mr and Mrs Smith for a dirty weekend. <laughs> That's a bit suspicious. Or, or maybe you and a salmon cleaning your internet history. That's possibly the most suspicious thing. <laughs> You're in the inter internet for two hours and you've searched nothing. <laughs> but the law is incomprehensible. Tax is incomprehensible. And I want to play a game tonight. Um, so I'm, I'm going to ask uh, uh, um, Charlie and, and Kat to help me. I want you to shout out the answers. I'm going to show you some products. I'm going to show, anyone can shout out the answers if you want. If you know the answer, shout it out. The game's called Tax It or eat it. <laughs> it's got its own theme tune. Tax it or eat it, tax it or eat it, tax it or eat it, tax it. It's not a good theme tune, <laughs> but it's a game show, so it had to have one. So th the rules are simple, it's in the song. What you're going to do is you're going to shout out either tax it or eat it when I show you a number of products. <coughs> some of those products are taxed, some of them aren't. I'm going to give some clues, but not with the first one. So I've got a box here. The first one that we've got is the cream cracker. Charlie, Kat, would you tax a cream cracker? Yes. No. Oh, we've got a split. I can accept it. I have to accept your first answer. Your first answer was yes. You wouldn't tax a cream cracker. A cream cracker is healthy and nutritious. You can have it as part of a snack. You could put Philadelphia on it. The tax man wants to encourage that. So there's your clue. Healthy. The second one that we've got is Kit Kats. It's covered in chocolate. That's it's delicious. <laughs> would you tax it or would you eat it? You'd ban it. <laughs> That's not a vote winner. <laughs> National ban the Kit Kat party. You're going to lose your deposit. <laughs> tax it or eat it. The rules are simple. It was in the song. Tax it or eat it. Yeah, tax it. It's covered in chocolate. It's unhealthy. Taxman doesn't want you to, to, to be eating unhealthy things. Tax Kit Kats. To make it a bit more complicated, Q 
cookies. <laughs> they're biscuits, but they're not covered in chocolate. They've got chocolate in them. <coughs> Which way is the tax man going? <laughs> tax it or eat it? They went for tax it, it's eat it! <laughs> this is as healthy as a cream cracker according to the tax man. <laughs> That's because the chocolate is added before it's cooked. If chocolate is added after it's cooked, then it's taxed. Chocolate before, it's not. Healthy as a cream cracker, you can stick Philadelphia on that. <laughs> Jaffa cakes! I'm going to give another clue here. Um, the clue here is that, that cakes aren't taxed. <laughs> That's a very big clue, but, 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 it's like a biscuit, it's covered in chocolate like a biscuit, you eat it like a biscuit, so do you tax it like a biscuit, or do you eat it like a cake? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's going to be 50, 50, what's your, what's your final answer? Tax it or eat it? Tax Loophole. it or eat it? Eat it. Eat it. You're going to eat it. You would eat it. The clue was in the title. It is a cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jaffa cake. But there's a very, very uh, complicated reason why it's a cake. The reason it's a cake is because a cake goes hard when you leave it out. A biscuit goes soft. A Jaffa cake goes hard when you leave it out. So it's a cake. <laughs> We've got, we're moving on to the second round, second round, um, a wee bit different, we've got an apple. Think back right at the start, what was I saying about healthy? Tax it, or eat it? Eat it, of course you would eat it, the tax man wants you to eat apples. Make it a bit more complicated, um, this is what I spent yesterday doing. It's a chocolate covered. <laughs> 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 it, 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 it doesn't look good, it doesn't look tasty, but would you tax it or would you eat it? <laughs> no, no, you eat it. There's nothing wrong with it, there's no reason why your chocolate covered apples shouldn't be, ta shouldn't, shouldn't be seen as a healthy and nutritious snack. Now we've got an orange. Same as the apple. That's a very big clue of me. <laughs> Tax it or eat it. Tax it, eat it, orange, tax it. Eat it, yeah, healthy, healthy, you eat it. What about a chocolate orange? <laughs> chocolate orange. <laughs> tax it or eat it? Of course you tax it, it's entirely made of chocolate and eat it numbers. However, the chocolate <laughs> orange. <laughs> This was also yesterday night. <laughs> Tax it or eat it. Think about the chocolate apple. Think about the chocolate apple. Eat it. No, the chocolate apple is the only exception to the chocolate covered fruit rule. <laughs> Every other chocolate covered fruit is taxed. Except for the apple. You should have known that. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Final round, final round, your chance to redeem yourself. So, final round. Um, we've done, we've done, we've done biscuits. We've done fruit. We've got vegetables. <laughs> this is a normal carrot. You might guess what's going to happen next. <laughs> normal carrot. <laughs> Tax it or eat it. Eat it, of course you'd eat it, it's a vegetable, it's delicious, it's good, Bugs Bunny likes it. Bugs Bunny doesn't like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you something now. It's impossible to make chocolate stick to a carrot. I've tried this a number of times. And this is what always happens. I'll tell you something else though. It's delicious. <laughs> Tax it or eat it. Chocolate covered carrot. Tax it or eat it. Tax it. Tax it. Tax it. Tax it. Tax it. No, it's an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> Final one. Final one. Um, we're back to a carrot. But we've got a carrot. 
<laughs> it, looks, it looks a bit like a circumcised cock. <laughs> would you tax it? <laughs> or would you eat it? <laughs> Carrot, looks like a willy. <laughs> tax it, or eat it. Final one. Chance to win it. Chance to win it. Chance get, to win it. Yeah, chance to win it. You can take this one with you. In fact, you can't take it home with you because it spent me an hour in Asda yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more suspicious than a man wandering out the supermarket aisle, looking at all the vegetables for the one that looks most like a willy. <laughs> Tax it. <laughs> or eat it. <laughs> No, it's an ornamental vegetable. <laughs> As an ornamental vegetable, you don't you, you don't eat it. You tax it. It's something you can stick in a shelf. What if you did eat it? Sorry. What if you did eat it? If you did eat it, then it's a normal vegetable, so it's okay. <laughs> but would you want to explain that to the tax man? <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> is that if a politician decides to speak to you about tax and says we're going to have a sensible discussion, you can tell him where to stick his chocolate-covered carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been under Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>